Welcome back into Main Street Living. Now, by this point, we all know that real estate is a great investment, but managing the property can be confusing and a lot of work. Oh, my goodness. It's so much work even to own a house, for example. And our next guest is here to help us figure out when we might want to enlist the help of a professional and call in a property manager. Welcome Al Pasiri from Harland Property Management. Good to see you there. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for being here. I feel like we're creeping on you a little bit, kind of like we're looking in the people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm knocking on the door. <laughs> <laughs> You are the operations manager for Harland Property Management. What exactly are the responsibilities of a property manager and what kinds of things do you handle? I'm sure it's got to be a lot. Yeah, it, it is. Um, basically, we're responsible for helping owners maximize the uh, value of their uh, rental investment property. Um, it, it involves, it's very multidisciplinary. It involves, uh, you know, uh, knowing the whole leasing market and how to sell a rental, um, how, you know, maintenance, uh, law, uh, insurance processes, um, just a whole lot of things. Um, so it's very involved. Yeah. So, you know, Al, I know here in the state of Virginia, the housing market is starting to kind of slow down uh, as far as, you know, sales. But there are some challenges that come with that, because now for your sellers, if they want to sell, you know, buyers are asking for stuff like closing costs. Mm -hmm. help. Like, are there are there any other challenges that you're noticing? Absolutely. I, I mean, we're seeing some of it. It's a little different here in California, but um, what we're seeing is that some people are not able to sell. Um, you know, we've there's been an increase in dropout from escrow, and uh, you know, definitely some longer listing times that are getting withdrawn. And we see people coming to us saying, "Well, what would be the option?" And you know, obviously, it's rental. Um, the rental market is still strong here in San Diego because inventory is still very low. Mm -hmm. it, you know, we, we haven't had a, we haven't had enough construction for years. So, you know, even what, what you might see in other places is rental inventory will start to creep up. Mm -hmm. And that could be a challenge as those things that don't sell start to hit the market as rental. Uh -huh. um, so, gotcha. Uh, yeah. Okay. So what are some other ways that you can help in this changing real estate market? Well, basically what we can do for those owners, if you're in a position where you can't sell, you, you want to get something out of your rental investment property or your real estate investment. So basically we can rent it out um, and get you cash flow. Um, you know, basically that that's happened before. Uh, I've seen it, you know, all the way back in 2008 where people had to hold on to properties as rentals waiting for the next opportunity to sell, which came in a few years. And we helped people bridge that gap um, to successfully sell the property when it's time. Um, you know, and, and, you know, it just depends on their position, but a lot of people did hold on for three and four years and came out much better for it. Yeah. Uh, my wife and I, we had our first home that became our rental property because we couldn't sell it in 2011, as you're re uh, referencing. Mm -hmm. But what we also realized was we can't keep trying to manage this rental on our own. So we did have an advantage having a property manager. So talk about that, the advantages of getting a property manager. Absolutely. Um, what, I, what I tend to say to people is, it, you know, by the time that you hear about a trend, We've been living it here for 30, 60, 90 days or more. Um, and so basically we're able to use that knowledge because we, we're doing this every day. And we use that knowledge to help you maximize what you can get. Um, you know, if somebody's still paying a mortgage, um, you know, every dollar is going to count in terms of what we can do to maximize the rental value um, and minimize the downtime, the vacancy. Gotcha. gotcha. So are there upsides to either owners or renters or both in this new market? Uh, I think this is an opportunity for uh, a, a lot of people. I think for renters, what they're going to see is more inventory hitting the market. Um, and that's going to be helpful in that they get more choices and, and mm -hmm. isn't as tight as it has been over the past year or so. Um, where it's just been incredibly tight. 
Um, and, and I think for owners, uh, there there's always the opportunity to you know explore renting to see. I can't sell yet. I thought it would be a you know, house I would flip. Maybe you make money as a rental and you exit in a better position. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, it's clear that you have all the answers and you got to share with our viewers how they can find out about the other services that you guys offer as well. Absolutely. You can find us on the web at harlanpropertymanagement.com. Um, you, you're more than welcome to call our office at 858-367-0343 and we would be happy to help anybody in the San Diego area with their, with their property. All right. No yeah. yeah thank good you to see so you. Much. All right. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Well, you know, kind of got to get a, get to the commercial break. Actually, I thought I had something else to say, but I don't straight ahead. There's more Main Street living. Stay right there. That's cute. Oh, wait, this way, this way. <laughs>